what's up everybody welcome to the channel and the video review of the skrc dm96 the wi-fi fpv rc quadcopter with altitude hold now this one is another sema clone and it looks almost identical to the sema x5c but this one has three speed modes and it's got altitude hold so let's go ahead and check this thing out all right, I got the quadcopter out of the box and it is looking almost identical to the SEMA X5C. Now, this one is a complete clone just about. It's a couple of stuff that is a little bit different. There's some LED lights sticking out instead of little housing. Uh, it's got a Wi-Fi FPV camera and this one has a tilt adjustable angle on the camera. So that is pretty cool. But the uppermost uh, angle is not really straight forward it's slightly angled down so we might still get a little bit of the ground shot as we pitch forward and fly well uh the battery bay is exactly identical as the sema x5c and they provide you with a 3.7 volt 600 milliamp size battery here uh, which is supposed to give you a flight time of eight minutes that's what the product page says so there you have the quadcopter here the legs however did not come uh, pre-attached i just attached them i didn't screw it down it comes with some screws you can screw it down but as i pushed it in it is staying on there pretty good so i'm not gonna uh screw it on here's the remote control and the remote control comes with the wi-fi fpv phone clip already installed this is one of those uh selfie type uh phone holders so that is pretty strong and it's got a tilt adjustable uh thing right here so that is pretty cool that is very solid now going over the remote control here uh this button here is a speed changing button and this one is uh, got three speeds on it. So this one might outperform the SEMA X5C here. The SEMA X5C only has two speeds. Uh, this one is the flip, same thing here. And this one and this button here are trim buttons, uh, but this one also functions as a mode one to two changer. Uh, press it uh, to the left, I believe, and turn on the remote control and you can change it to mode one and turn it to the right and turn on the remote control and you can change it to mode two i believe uh, this button over here this uh, throttle trim button acts as the photo and video button but then again this one is a wi-fi fpv uh, version so this one does not um, work on this one it probably works on the one that just has the camera without the wi-fi fpv this button over here the uh yaw trim is the headless mode and the one key return turn it to the left is the headless turn it to the right is the one key return now to arm the um, motors uh, just lift the throttle stick up and it'll arm the motors and throttle stick down and it will disarm the motors and to calibrate the gyros and the accelerometer both sticks to the bottom and out will calibrate the gyros and the accelerometer now in the package there are the instruction manual here and also they gave you the uh, Wi-Fi uh, paper here that has the QR code and the directions and the instructions on the Wi-Fi phone app both in English and Chinese so that is pretty cool comes with a bag of goodies it also comes with a neck strap a couple of props a USB charge cable a screwdriver and a bunch of loose screws all right so, and some uh, prop guards if you want to install the prop guards you can install the prop guards by a way of uh, a screw right here place the two little knobs in there and put a screw on there and then you got yourself some prop guards i'm going to fly it without the prop guards uh, for this demonstration so let's go ahead and take a little flight with the skrc dm96 all right, I got the quadcopter turned on. I got the Wi-Fi phone app already installed and it is on and we have Wi-Fi FPV as you can see there. All right, and we are connected with the hard remote. So let's go for a little flight. But first, let's go ahead and take a little photo. Uh, the photo button is right here, I believe. There you go, took a photo there.
And let's see. Turn it to the right. Take a photo here. Photo to the left. Photo behind me of the sun. Sort of, anyways. So let's go ahead and start the video and it is blinking and it has got some red uh, video counter there so that is pretty cool all right so let's go for a little flight with the SKRC DM96 uh, arming the motors just go up on the throttle and it'll arm and then you can take off nice Oh yeah, look at that hover. Look at that altitude hold. There is absolutely no wind today. So that is the hover for you. It is hovering really, really nice. Nice. And we are in speed number one. Red lights in the front, and we got green LED lights in the back. Not bad. Okay, that is the yaw on speed number one there. Not bad. Okay, that is the yaw on speed number two. Uh, it is doing pretty good, I must say. Not bad. And that is the pitch. And you know what? The altitude hold is not bothering the quadcopter's turns. And I do have the pitch all the way forward. So that is pretty cool. I let go of the throttles or the pitch stick. And they, the breeze is bringing it back. There's a tiny bit of breeze now. There you go. That is the breeze speed for you. Okay, speed number three. Whoa, ho, ho. whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got speed number three, guys. And it's pretty decent. Yep. Another SEMA clone that flies better than the SEMA X5C. Nice. Not bad. Forward flip. Right side flip. Left side flip. And rear flip. Notice how it uh, kind of throttled up by itself to do the flips. Let's check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Yep. Not bad at all, man. Pretty decent. All right, let's do the uh, headless mode. All right, going forward in a spin, coming back. forward coming back going to the right and going to the left while it is spinning so the headless mode works really good and press it again to get out of the headless mode and let me find out my heading here lost my orientation all right let's check out the one key to return yep it is coming back towards the southbound heading so push it out you could even yaw it and one key return and it'll still come back towards the southbound heading and you can redirect it and get out of the one key return and find out your orientation and bring it back to you. Nice. Very, very nice. Now let's see. We got Wi-Fi FPV. So let's head on over to the shady area and... Uh, I'm afraid there is a lot of lag to do Wi-Fi FPV, so we are not able to do effective Wi-Fi FPV, so it stutters and it skips, so it is good for pointing the directions and taking a video or a photo, so that is what the 
Wi-Fi FPV camera is good for on this quadcopter. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, stick on a all-in-one VTX because this thing is going to be a very nice beginner FPV flyer. And I highly recommend you guys get one of the, uh, those uh, all-in-one VTXs and you can even get a uh, tiny 3.7 volt, uh, maybe 150 or 200 milliamp uh, battery and do a little piggyback, put the VTX right on top of the uh, canopy right in the center so it does not uh, have any kind of jello issues. Uh, the the more center you place the camera, the less movement the camera is going to have. So you will get better videos and photos. Not really photos, but better video and better FPV experience. Alright, so this is doing pretty good. I still have battery and let's see the lights. Yeah, the lights are flashing now. Alright, so that is the flight time of the SKRC quadcopter here. I'm going to bring it down. Give it a landing and once it lands hold down the throttle all the way down and the motors shut off all right all right i got the skrc dm96 ready to go with some uh, fpv i got an all-in-one vtx mounted on the top with some double-sided sticky tape and i took off all of the stuff on the bottom the battery bay door and the wi-fi fpv camera and i stuck an extra battery on the bottom to power the all-in-one VTX and I'm going to be using my head play SE goggles for the FPV but within the last five to ten minutes the winds have picked up dramatically it is now right around five to ten miles per hour so it might not be a very good FPV experience because one of these quadcopters uh, the SEMA X5C clones or the SEMA X5C can get blown around in the wind so we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway so wish me luck all right here we go i'm gonna start off in speed number two the wind is pretty strong i don't know if this quadcopter can handle this wind so let's go for it anyway arming it yeah going against the wind yep this thing can handle the wind and it's got altitude hold and I'm fighting the wind as you can see it's not a smooth flyer because of the wind and let's go into the tree area yeah whoa going pretty fast all right that altitude hold is helping out a lot all right hey this thing can handle the wind unbelievable and we are in speed number two. We're supposed to have a 120 meter uh, distance capability here, control distance. So, and as I'm going up in altitude, look at that, I'm getting pushed back. I'm going to speed number three. Look at the bushes, the wind is just blowing it. And this thing is pretty much handling it though. Okay, let me go back down in altitude and zigzag my way down where there is a little bit less wind here. All right. It's a little bit wobbly because I'm in speed number three now. Okay, let's see if I can make it back. Yep, no problem. Hey, this thing is not bad. If there was no wind, uh, this experience would be a lot better. You know, you can uh, fly around in speed number one where there's not that much of a jerk. So this is not bad man doing very well actually that's what I like about uh, these quadcopters the uh, SEMA clone quadcopters uh, it is a very nice FPV flyer for beginners you know you just put on one of these uh, all-in-one VTX's and if you got yourself some goggles you know you can do some FPV and and it's very easy and this one is really nice because it's got altitude hold you don't have to worry about the uh, height for beginners of course when you get a little bit more into FPV you do not want altitude hold because you want to go up and down 
in altitude to dodge things and stuff so but for beginners it is excellent look at that man it's almost like worry free FPV I just gotta worry about the wind pretty good huh not bad at all man let me go through the pavilion and see if I can do that yep okay just don't hit myself while flying through all right yeah, if there was no wind, uh, it, this would be really, really nice. But it is not bad, huh? And, ooh, I almost thought I lost the connection there. But I guess that was just a gust of wind blowing it. Hey, pretty good, pretty good. And all of a sudden, ah, there's still wind. I thought maybe all of a sudden the wind died down, but nah, wishful thinking. Hey, pretty good. Nice and fast. <laughs> All right, the wind has kind of pushed it over there a little bit. And I am able to come back. All right, I think the battery might be getting a little bit sluggish too. Woohoo! All right. Feels like the, uh, I was just gonna say, the feels like the wind died down. Nah, not really. Okay, I'm getting kind of sluggish here. I'm trying to fight my way back. And looks like it's gonna have to land right around here. Yeah, that would be the flight time, I believe. No? Nope. Yeah, that would be the flight time, guys. Oh, landed upside down. Oh, well. All right. All right, just got done with the FPV flight in the windy conditions with the SKRC DM96. And I gotta say, man, this thing performed pretty good. I have to say, and it is very windy, guys. Uh, five to 10 miles an hour winds, sometimes little gusts. And this thing handled it excellently. Um, I am very amazed. So maybe we're gonna wait until tomorrow maybe do another FPV flight when the winds are calm maybe we get a little bit better experience but for now that is my uh, flight review and the FPV flight review of the SKRC DM96 all right let's check this out we are in speed number one Oh yeah, much better, no wind. Nice. Nice. Couple of flips. Okay, going down in altitude. Woohoo! Hit a branch. Oh, this one has another bar on the middle. Nice. Very nice beginner FPV flyer, this one. Look at how accurate you can fly this thing. Pretty good. <laughs> Let's see how far I can go. Yep. 
big branch in the way that's pretty good I think I still got good uh, video no breakups so that is nice and I got lots of control we are still in speed number one and look at that you can just cruise around we got altitude hold I don't have to worry about altitude well it went down in altitude on that turn a little bit I had to throttle up a little bit uh, this is working nice awesome and this thing gives you about oh good four or five minute flight time supposed to be what eight minutes they say but I don't think so that's when you just uh, kind of stay on low speed and you just hover around yeah but uh, I don't think so I don't think I'm gonna be able to go through branches with this one Awesome. Woohoo! Did I slap some grass? Or cut some grass? Oop, cutting some grass there. Go through this one, yeah. Might be able to go through this branch right here. It looks like I don't want to be climbing any trees. No, there's too much leaves in between. Let's check it out on this side. Yeah, I should be able to go right up and make a left turn maybe. Let's try that. Oh man, this altitude hold is kind of not letting me go down in altitude. Right here, let me go down. Yeah, woo hoo hoo. All right, not bad, huh? You can't do that with a racer. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, the battery is getting kind of depleted as I am pitching forward and it's not going as fast. So we'll stay relatively close. So far so good, pretty good. Let's see how far I can go though. Get out in the open field. Man, this uh, VTX is doing pretty good. Uh, you think? Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Alright, I think it's time to come in. Oh, <laughs> I just ran out of battery. Alright.